Okay, we are going to look at sugar dissolving in water. Okay, you may be wondering why the sugar is so strange. Okay, that is because this is not normal sugar. This is cane sugar. Okay. The first factor affecting the rate of dissolving is the rate of stirring. Okay, that means how fast you stir the solution. Okay, now I have put the sugar cube in the water. Okay, and I have started stirring. Notice that I am stirring slowly. Okay, so the sugar cube is slowly, slowly dissolving. After so long, the sugar cube hasn't dissolved completely yet. Now watch what happens when I stir more vigorously. Okay, so now this is more vigorous stirring. Okay, I'm stirring faster and more violently. Look, all the sugar has dissolved. So as you can see, the faster I stir, and the more violently I stir, okay, the faster the sugar dissolves. The second factor affecting the rate of dissolving is the surface area of the solute. What does this mean? Let us take a look. I have taken the sugar cube and ground it into powder. So you see here, this is the powder form. As you can see, the sugar dissolves very quickly. Yeah, what this means is that the solute, which is the sugar in our case here, okay, when the solute is made up of many small pieces, the combined surface area of the solute is very large. Okay, it's larger. So it will dissolve more quickly. So if the solute is a big piece, like our sugar cube from just now, then the surface area is smaller. So it will dissolve more slowly. The third factor affecting the rate of dissolving is the temperature of the solvent. Okay, here I have a glass of cold water. Okay, I'm going to add sugar to it. Okay, as you can see, the sugar takes very long to dissolve completely. Okay, 
and now I have a glass of hot water. Okay, it is hot. Look at how fast the solute dissolves. It's amazing. So as you can see, the hotter the solvent, which is the water in our case, the faster the sugar dissolves.